Hi there, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely pleated crinoline fascinator. So before we start making it, let's see what we are using to make it. We have the scissors, we have the feathers, the spiky feathers, we have needle and thread. Of course, the thread is matching to the color. We have this lovely trimming, ooh, shiny trimming. Then we have our electric glue gun. We have Uhu gum. We have the pleated crinoline. line. Of course, we're talking about pleated crinoline line fastening. This one got its color when I was doing an experiment by dyeing crinoline. line. Anyway, if you joined the crinoline line master's class, you know we don't dye crinoline, line. Except if you wanted faded color anyway. So that was bias that just ran away. Then we have our mold. I've molded with cinnamon and I covered it up with velvet. Or some of you may call it suede material. And there's a hot wire inside that I first of all used it to sew so it keeps in shape. Then we have a measurement tape. What else am I getting out? Yes, we have our hot wire. This hot wire is 55 inches and I've already knotted it. If you don't know how to wrap your hot wire, cut it. There's a video in the description below. Then these are flowers. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I made use of the trimming for. Yeah, I was thinking of mm, what could I use at the edge of the um, hot wire and I was like, oh, this would come out looking nice so I folded it into two so it's not too wide that's the trimming and I started doing running stitches all the way and this is what came out okay so now the next stage is to sew our crinol pleated crinoline line to the hat wire now you took note that I'm sewing it from the part that has the thread so no need to take off the thread so I'm just going to be sewing it like so so just keep watching and learning and while you're watching remember that all that we made use of in making this pleated queen line fascinator is in the script in the description with the Amazon the Aliexpress links and my link so if you can't find it in your local store you just check the description of this video and you can click on the links and make your purchases let's continue so this is the last portion I'm doing I believe so so I have sewn it all the way around and I'm doing the last portion I'm in a single mood today who is in a single mood with me? If you are in, please do let me know in the comment section below. So you can see I'm straightening it so that it's like laps on the other side that I've already sewn. So that I can cut it and that part that I cut will lap neatly on the one underneath. So now I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to trim it, cutting it at that part, you know, one of the pleated parts that goes down. Alright, so that's it. And what I did was I took my glue and I put it under to get it stuck. Now, the glue I used is Uhu Gum. Now, if you want to know how to, what, when to use various types of glue, I have a video also that I've made. You can check the description below. Okay, so you can also sew this instead of gluing it as well. So now I'm sewing it completely and I'm going to tie it like so, so it doesn't loosen. Yeah, that should be the word. Scissors. Okay, so I'm just pressing it in so that it glues perfectly well. Now this is our trimming that I folded. Now I'm folding it like so, so that the part I sewed will be in the middle. And I'm putting the glue on that middle part. Please make sure you don't put the glue close to the edges. I made that error when I was doing it. I think I was overly excited with the design that I had in mind. <laughs> and so I wasn't patient. So please be patient. Just put the glue close to the um, middle so that it doesn't sip up. Then remember, we make use of pegs to make our work fast. So that should be added also as part of the items you need in making this pleated crinoline fascinator. So we're done with doing that. Don't go away. We're still coming back. So I noticed there were some hair still showing on the back side where it was joined. So I used my scissors to trim that out like so. So just in case you have that issue, then you glue it also so it laps perfectly well. <laughs> you can see I'm really in a singing mood. <laughs> All right, there's Did you let me know if you're in a singing mood? Do let me know in the comment section below. Today must be great. It is great. It has to be a great day. Okay, let's get back to today's training. Okay, so now we get our needle and thread and we're going to sew it running stitches that hole over there yes taking the crinoline line but first of all you've got to tie it like i did 
that's tying it, you know, making it loop. If you didn't get it, please do reverse back to see how you tie it first of all before you start the running stitches. So I have done the running stitching, stitches all round. Now see what happens when you pull the thread. It changes like so. Wow, I love that. Okay, so we'll get back to that later on. But now I realize that my um, fascinator base was not, I needed to put the um, bias all round to make it look neat before I started putting the pleated cream line round. So you do that with bias. Okay, so now I turned it like that because I was checking for ways the front part and the back part. The front part of the part that you see the pleats going up. I already sewed it, but I didn't want it flat again. I actually wanted to use it flat, but I decided to make it butt shake. So that's what you do if you did make that mistake. So now what I'm going to do is to sew the pleated crinoline to the fascinator base. Now let me tell you another thing I discovered. If you're making use of cinnamon to make your fascinator base, you're going to have some slight issues when you're trying to make sure that the thread doesn't show on the other side. What helped me out was because it was velvet I used and I used the same matching thread. So velvet kind of like hides the thread. Especially because it's matching because you can't take it exactly through the same hole mm. anyway so you either work with something else but let's get back there okay so now I'm covering the inside part that I've sewn okay then I'll reverse back so you can actually um, use um, your bishop cap in this instance if you don't want to have such issues but it can be done with anyone so I have finished putting the bias now I want to sew my um, elastic band now that's another item we didn't mention so there are two items take note because something is coming up very soon at the end okay so remember when you're sewing from the front side you stick it as close as possible if you're making cinnamon but closer if it's not cinnamon that was used to make your to mold your base okay so i'm sewing like so keep watching and learning let me take a breath <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I did was to take a little piece of um, bias and I used it to close where I sewed on the elastic band. Now the elastic band was quite um, strong in its elasticity so I didn't need to cut out my usual two inches. I used it like so. Now these are my cactus flowers. I've had them for a while and I decided to make use of them in this pleated crinoline fascinator so what i did was i covered up remember the part we joined so i used this cactus flower to cover it up and extended it also to the fascinator base you need to keep watching and learning because soon you get a game challenge that would give you a free access to one of our classes in the vent craft academy keep watching Okay, so now I decided to put a dash of spiky feathers, you know, to mm, beautify the more, make it gorgeous. Oh yeah. So what do you think? Is it gorgeous? Do let me know in the comment section below. And that's how we arrived at this fantastic plate that crinoline fascinator. So who wants to attend the Vencraft Fascinator Class 3 for free? Yeah, in this this was the um, video that I did that had that question to make someone win it. And it was Chantal. Congratulations, my dear. Please do contact us in the Ventcraft Academy. The link is in the description. And pick up your gift. Yes, today's question. What are the two items that wasn't mentioned in the beginning of this training? Yes, you're going to attend the Ventcraft Toban Class 1 for free.